extravaganza. We are your lovely and talented hosts from Harmonix Music Systems. Uh, starting all the way over to the left, the venerable Eric Pope. I can't feel my legs. To his right, the handsome and courteous Nick Chester. I've been feeling his legs just fine. <laughs> Crimson wow. frock, Annette Gonzalez. I look so stupid right now. Yeah. And the Harmonics Community Team's resident flower child, Jessa Brzezinski. And I am your host, Aaron Trites. Yeah. Woo! Also, Vanna Whiting, we have Christine over on the far left, and Fish McGill running the slideshow to the right. Yeah. Yeah. Give him a hand. That's our show. Thank you. Good night. So our strategy for panels, in case you haven't figured it out from recent PAXs and PAX Easts, uh, we generally just like to do whatever we think we will have fun doing. Uh, the theory being that if we are enjoying ourselves, then you too will hopefully enjoy yourselves. Uh, so here we are. It's already uh, a failure. In god awful costumes uh, for a big dumb game show. Woo! We also hosted a community get together for donuts at Top Pot down the street last night. Uh, we did have pre registration for the game show last night as well. So there are some of you uh, in the crowd uh, who have signed up, who may have your name plucked at random, uh, to step up to the microphone all the way here uh, to uh, your right, my left, um, and uh, you can uh, face off against our lovely panel of harmonics contestants. Uh, a, a match of wits, if you will. Yes, that's right. You should be afraid. Yeah. But. Uh, for those of you who are not able to attend Top Pot, uh, may God have mercy on your souls. Uh, we will have uh, ample opportunity at the end uh, for uh, several of you to be selected at random to volunteer uh, for a lightning round at the end, time permitting. Uh, so have no fear, we will include as many of you as possible. Uh, Pope, how are we doing so far? Dave Lang, do you have any whiskey? No oh, yeah. Lang's on. Woo! Oof. Woo! All right. Business has just picked up, ladies and gentlemen. So we will just dive right in to our first segment of the Harmonics Game Show Extravaganza. Are you smarter than a Harmonics employee? Possibly. Possibly. This will be your chance to prove it. So we are going to pull some names at random here. There's going to be a smattering of rock band questions, dance central questions, general harmonics trivia, uh, and maybe a few gems uh, from harmonics sorted past. Uh, so, so be on your toes, uh, with no rhyme or reason, uh, you could be uh, selected for any one of these random segments. Uh, first from the crowd, uh, do we have Kyle Stadler? Kyle Stadler, come on! Oh, yeah! Yeah! Kyle, here's how the show is going to work. We are going to start all the way to the left with Eric Pope. Kyle, do you have any whiskey? I don't have any whiskey. Ah, incorrect answer. Take your seat, please. Uh, we're going to start at the far left, and we're going to work at random down here to Jessa on the right. Uh, so uh, we have uh, some specialists in the audience. Uh, Jessa, for example, is our Dance Central community manager. Uh, so Dance Central is her forte, but she could possibly get a rock band question and be thrown for a loop, and you could steal the win. Wait, so who's who? Who? Could you what? Who, what? Hmm? Who's our Dan Central community manager again? Uh, Jessa. That's a J Jessa Gonzalez. Brzezinski. <laughs> <laughs> well, we just Saturday lost. night at PAX, ladies and this gentlemen. This is a really out of We're world tired. experience. Back to the show. Thank you. Uh, starting with Eric Pope. Are you ready, Eric? How many poppers have you had tonight? Pop I've had <laughs> several poppers. Should I? Should I lower the microphone to you? <laughs> yeah. avoid popping my peas? No, no, the mic is in just the right spot. OK, perfect. Oh Good to know. Uh, I apologize for my profuse peas. Before we start, we should thank uh, the, the good folks at GiantBomb.com for lending us uh, that Bob Barker microphone. Yes. Yeah. Please, everyone. Woo! Of course they had that. And another round of applause for Kyle, who's been waiting patiently. Yes, yes, Kyle. Yeah. Kyle. All right. 
In this round, we're going to defer to the members of the audience, give them the chance to answer first. If you answer correctly, you could win fabulous prizes uh, as provided by Christine. Uh, and if you lose, uh, then Pope wins honor and glory forever. Well, I asked, I still have to get it right, though. <laughs> yeah, oh, yes. Well, that, yeah, it goes without saying. Yeah. Well, I, I, All right, I, so you I don't know how this game works. <laughs> None of us know how these games work. OK, Kyle, are you ready? I'm ready. All right, your first question. What date was the original rock band released? Ooh. Oof. Let's see, it was November 2007, I want to say. Was it November 20th? Mm. Eric, what do you think? I'm going to double down. <laughs> October 20th, 2007. I'm terribly sorry. He deserves something. Yeah. Why don't you go down to Christine? We'll right. make sure that everyone that participates everyone gets winner. something tonight. I told you I don't know how this game works. All right, I told you I don't know how this game works. No Emmys, big prizes. <laughs> uh, Pope, your answer was double down, uh, so you also answered incorrect. Oh. All right, Nick Chester, uh, you are going to be our next contestant from the panel here. I'm going to double down. You're going to double down. Good answer, good answer. Do we have Claire Stewart? Claire! To participate. Claire! 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 Oh, yeah. oh, Claire, where's Chip? Claire! All right. Claire, can you name five of the crews in Dance Central 2? Maybe? If, I don't know, can she? Okay, She's wearing? Uh, okay. <laughs> let's see, we got Riptide. We got Lush, we got High Def and Glitteri. Can you give me one more? Four? And <laughs> a flash forward. Flash forward, you are correct. <laughs> so for a correct answer, Claire wins uh, both a set of Blitz pins uh, and also a pass to the EMP, the Experience Music Project, here in Seattle. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> Wait. You can, you can take it up with the judges after the panel. Uh, Jeff Gersman is our judge. Go take it up with Jeff him. Jeff Gersman? For the <laughs> fuck that wow. shit. Wow! We have an official fuck that shit ruling. Wow. <laughs> wow. Sorry. A see us after the show. <laughs> All right. Moving right along. Annette, are You're you great. prepared nope. uh, for the hell that awaits you? With Just double time. down. Just double down. Double. All right. Uh, really for cool. our uh, next contestant from the audience, let's have Jason Gage step up. Jason! <laughs> All right. Jason has his blitz mitts on. He is ready to rock. Jason! All right. What was the very first game that Harmonix released? Released. Mm. Like, okay. like a game. <laughs> the first game. I want to say karaoke revolution. Annette. Annette, thoughts? Frequency. Oh. 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 I'm sorry, the answer is the axe. The axe. The axe is a game. The axe. It was a Nobody disc asked that you, you It was a Windows 95 program <laughs> that lets you make music with a joystick. Joy is in the title, therefore it's also all Joy at Harmonix for a reason. All right, we have a challenge from Sylvain Dubrovsky. Nope. Incorrect answer. I'm terribly sorry. Double down. But pins. <laughs> pins. <laughs> so what does Annette get for getting it wrong? I get fired, right? right. Well, <laughs> you do have a review pending. <laughs> I like uh, to protest after the show. What, you can meet with Jeff Gerstman to discuss <laughs> your <laughs> options after the show. What are your thoughts, Jeff? What's the ruling? Oh, oh, oh man. He's oh, grinding fist punch his fist for the blitz, blitz mitts. Blitz mitt fist punch. Okay. Uh, moving on, we have our fourth question here. Uh, Eric Whitefield, are you in the crowd, Eric? Whitefield! Yes. Whitefield! <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> All right, Jessa, are you prepared? Jessa. No. No. All right. All right. Usher helped us announce Dance Central 3 at E3 this year by performing his song Scream. What album is that track from? I'd like to use a lifeline. <laughs> Granted, it's, it's a bit unorthodox, but I'll allow it. Yeah. <laughs> I'd like to ask the audience. Oh. Again, I'm a bit taken aback, but it's <laughs> unprecedented. They all have to shout it at the same time. Yeah. Though. All right, so audience, on three, one, two, three. <laughs> all right, let's have it. Seriously, nobody knows what that album is called? <laughs> I'm sure it sold quite a few copies. Your answer! Uh, yeah, Back in Black. That, that has to be it. Believe it or not, incorrect. <laughs> Jessa? Scream the single. Ooh. <laughs> no. They are, they are right to boo you. <laughs> Looking for myself is correct. That is correct. You both lose. You so an audience lose. member was holding out. <laughs> but still, in the end, pins. <laughs> All right. Moving right along, Mickey Purvis. Are you in the crowd? Perv dog. A perv dog. <laughs> All right. This is back to you, Pope. Entirely at random. I will remind you yet again. Okay. The harmonics smash hit vid rhythm was originally released at what price point? Um, 199. What was that again? 199. That is 100% correct. Yeah. A bird dog. Good steal from Akpo, who was the project lead on vid rhythm. The project lead. Yep. The community project lead. <laughs> Vid Rhythm has been downloaded over one million times. Over one million Thanks times, to him. ladies and gentlemen. The 199 version was downloaded over 20,000 times. <laughs> 20,000. The math on that one. All right. Uh, David Nguyen, are you in the crowd? Yeah! Here we go. Woo! Brand Nubian. Again, entirely at random. Honest to God. <laughs> Can you name three of the harmonics choreographers that have worked on the Dance Central franchise? Enti I swear to God, entirely at random. Entirely at random. Chanel, Devin, Ricardo. That is, believe it or not, 100% correct. <laughs> Well done, as Nick, I don't know, could have named three of his co-workers. Uh, <laughs> uh, Francis, this is Jessa. Francis? <laughs> Francis. Francis. <laughs> All right, Michael Kidder, come on down. Yes. Michael Kidder, there we go, from the back. All right. Michael, have you had a chance to play Rock Band Blitz on the show floor yet? Not yet. Not yet. All right, then this is going to be exceedingly difficult for you. <laughs> All right, Annette, are you prepared for a Rock Band Blitz question? Maybe. Okay. What are the names of the four different controller schemes in Rock Band Blitz? Standard. Freak. Standard Freak. Puncher and shoulders. I'll give it to you. Yeah. I'll give it to you. Wow. We were looking for default. Standard is close enough. He said freak. Freakish is the name of the second control scheme. He got shoulders correct. 
uh, typewriter was the fourth one that we were looking for. But a good, solid college try. <laughs> All right. All right, moving on. Matthew Arms, are you in the crowd? Matthew yeah. Arms, front and center. The This was an actual brain buster for me. Uh-oh. That's a shock. <laughs> <laughs> shots fired. Shots fired. Shots fired. Shots fired. Shots fired. Let's give it up for Nick Chester's kerchief, everyone. Yeah. <laughs> holding my head on my neck. All right. Which artist has been featured on Rock Band 1, Rock Band 2, and Rock Band 3. Uh, Red Hot Chili Peppers. Solid guess, but sadly incorrect. Anyone else? Foo Fighters. Foo Fighters. Not Foo Fighters. What do you mean anybody else? What, is, what, what happened to the rules yeah, of this game? Yeah, where are the rules? <laughs> uh, there are no rules. The answer is The Who. Free for Who. The Who. Believe it or not, won't get, won't get fooled again. Pinball Wizard and I Can See for Miles. <laughs> it tricked me too. It tricked me too. All right. This is a farce. It's a farce. All right. Well, we're nearing the end of this farce. This round of the farce, anyway. <laughs> the farce continues. Jeff Sobel, are you in the crowd? Sobel. No, no, Jeff that Sobel. Sobel guy. He's the worst, right, guys? <laughs> what a disappointment. Jacob Mayfield. Jake! Go! Wow. Can anybody wow. do a Jacob Mayfield impression? Ouch. <laughs> uh, you, sir, you had your hand up. That's good enough for me. Jacob Mayfield! Oh, there he is, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah! Yeah! What's going on, Jacob? Good to see you all again. That hat is so Jacob. You. <laughs> That's so Jacob. No, wow. So Jacob. All right. Pope, are we back to you in the uh, rotation? Sure. Sure. Sorry, yes, sure. Okay. Good enough. All right. What year was Harmonix founded? Harmonix Music Systems. Popular video game developer. One dollar. One dollar. One dollar. <laughs> Solid guess. Eric Pope, counter offer? Uh, counter offer, $1,995. $1 $1,995 is correct! Yeah. Everybody drink! Eric Pope keeps his job for another day. All right, and the final question here in our Are You Smarter Than a Harmonics Developer round, uh, we will pick, uh, let's see, uh, JP Campbell. There we go! Guys, 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 guys. I got a hot joke in from John Drake about the last guy. He's watching this from the Admirals Club in San Francisco. Wow. He said, Jacob, more like Jacob. Wow. Wow. Shots fired. Shots, shots, shots fired. fired. Drake and Jacob. <laughs> All right. Our final question in this round. How many songs are currently available on the Rock Band platform as of today? Oh. <laughs> what? 3,186. Nick Chester? Do you have a, a closest without going over? I think that's understood here. What, what's the question again? How many songs as of this week are there in the rock band, the rock band library? No, 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 no. Siri, no. how many songs are available uh, to date on the rock band music library? <laughs> Guys, you gotta, you gotta stop yelling. There's nothing in the she rules. She says more than 12. More? <laughs> also, that's, that's, out. that's correct. Checks out. Jeff, Jeff, what do you think? Nope. No. No, no not Jeff more than 12. Jeff fucking bullshit. <laughs> The correct answer is 3,900 songs, which is more than 12, but you were closest without going over, so you Thank win. You. Thank you. 
That's just how easy this nonsense is. <laughs> Moving on to our next round, the Harmonics Community Feud. Yeah! We're going to be pulling four people from the audience for this, this little segment here. Yes! Applause, please. All right, from the Community Feud, we're going to start with a rock band round. Move on to a Dance Central round. We'll pull four people from the audience for rock band volunteers. Joseph Garrison. Yeah, All Garrison. Right, come on up. Jared Fritz. Fritz, 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 yeah. Fritz. Zotan Taliban. Oh, wow. He wins for best name. It's Hungarian. And Stephen Bui. Guif? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, there you are. <laughs> All right. Annette, you are going to be our, uh, our lead off here for the rock band round. All right. Again, entirely random. May not work in our favor this time around. Uh, gentlemen, um, could you elect uh, a representative uh, from among you uh, to answer the first question? Fuck it, I'll do it. Done. Yeah. Fuck, Fuck it, I'll, I'll do, do it. Fuck it, I'll do it. He's up. Is the spirit that we like to see here at the Harmonix the Game Show extravaganza. <laughs> All right. So our, our question here, we asked 100 people on the Rock Band forums. Wait. So we don't Close have enough for me. Done. Round over. Done. Done. Moving on. Uh, right. Traditionally, we would have a buzzer, uh, but we are sadly without. Um, so uh, community feud rules uh, would dictate that a hand raise uh, would be good enough. Uh, and whichever team wins this initial round, um, unless there is uh, a higher answer on the board, uh, your team would be able to sweep the category. Can they make a buzzing noise with their mouth yes. instead of yes. a hand raise? Yes. Yeah, you both have mics. Just better say, better answer. <laughs> better answer. All right. Bum, bum, bum. Yep. That air, air horn's horn. also All right. acceptable. <laughs> okay. All right. We asked 100 people on the rock band forums to name a common rock band hardware issue. <laughs> Thank you, good night. Yeah. All right. The man knows his audience. Broken drum pedal. Broken drum pedal is our number one answer. Yeah. Come on, it's panelists. We have no chance of stealing. So the community uh, gets to run the board. Uh, you have until three strikes to win. All right, broken drum pedal, the number one answer. Let's move along here. Uh, another, uh, another contestant in your group. Uh, do you have another uh, guess at a common rock band hardware issue? What do you guys think? Uh, mo most of us think a broken whammy. Broken Whammy is not one of our top five answers. Sorry. One strike. All right. The feud's getting hot. Yeah, hot feud. Um, a broken strum bar. Broken strum bar is our number three answer. Nicely done. Nicely done. Fourth. So I'm conferring. Dicks. <laughs> Dicks. Sadly, strike two. <laughs> All right, you have three more answers on the board. Unresponsive drum pad. Drum pads is our number four answer. Hey All right, we've got two more answers. Common rock band hardware issue. Is this the third strike? This is for your third strike. Uh, the pressure. Well, what else do you think? Um, I'm gonna, all right, okay. Uh, 
Sticky keys. Sticky keys is not on the board. Oof. That is three strikes. A good run, a solid run. Uh, Harmonics community panelists, if you'd like to confirm amongst yourselves, there are two remaining answers on the board. If you'd like to steal, uh, of 100 people surveyed on the Rock Band forums, name a common Rock Band hardware issue. Tension, tension is palpable. Dongle, say dongle, say dongle. Dongle, say dongle, say dongle. Dongle, dongle. Dongle, dongle. Dongle, dongle. dongle, say, say, say dongle. Dongles, ladies and gentlemen, what do you think? Dongles? <laughs> dongles was not <laughs> one of the answers. Come on, support. God damn of 100 community members polled, the remaining answers were tilt sensor, and hardware availability. Oh. That's a sneaky one. Those people weren't trying hard enough. Correct answer. Correct answer. All right, so let's um, let's say that they won. Yeah. How about that? Yeah. How about that? So you gentlemen uh, can contact Christine. She will have uh, she will have a business card to hand off to you. Uh, when we return to the office, uh, we will shower you with blitz codes and blitz mitts. That's what we call them. <laughs> mitts. Blitz mitts. Blitz mitts. Blitz. And now mitts. For a dance central round of the community feud, can we have Alexander Roberts from the crowd? Yes. Oh, yeah. Oh. Looks like a leader. Looks like a leader. Raffi, are you in the house? I know you are. Raffi, yes. Robert Glesda. There we go. And Sophia Hammett. How about you? Oh boy. Oh boy. Oof. Just dance. Rough chuckles in the front row here. Rough chuckles. All right, moving on. Same rules apply as per the last round. A yada yada. Uh, Eric Pope, hey. would you like to take point here? Yep. Okay. I know shit about Dance Central. Okay. Hey, me well, too. Then, Good. You Good. are Great. in a bad way. Out of 50 people surveyed <laughs> right here on the floor of the Penny Arcade Expo, who is the most popular Dance Central character? <laughs> nope. Sorry, Eric, you were too slow. I'm going to go with uh, Angel. Angel <laughs> is not in our top five. Oh. Eric Pope, would you like a chance to steal? Can I go with that hunky sensation, Oblio? Not shit in the top. You're all wrong. Get out. Get out. All right, Get out. to steal community. Glitch. Glitch is our number one answer on the board. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Yep. That is probably why everyone on the floor said glitch. <laughs> they didn't they actually get everybody. <laughs> A round of applause, please, for our own glitch. <laughs> All right, community. Any other guesses for top five most popular Dance Central characters? Morgan Freeman, Dance Central 3. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Raffi, what do we have? Uh, Miss Aubrey? Miss Aubrey is our number two answer on the board. <laughs> Harmonic devs, these guys are crushing you. <laughs> Next answer. You've got three left to go and no strikes on the board, could easily win it all. Looking for an answer sooner rather than later. Do we have an Amelia? Amelia is our number three answer on the board. Good answer, good answer. All 
right, looking for two more names of the most popular Dance Central characters. Brilliant man, brilliant man, gifted scientist, not the best dancer. We're gonna go with Mo. Mo, sadly not on the list, your first strike of the evening. But we've got two more. Let's power through this sucker. Dr. Tan. Dr. Tan. <laughs> Not on the board. Oh. Oh. Sadly, your second strike. You've got one left. You'll have one strike. What? Yelling at the audience Brody. now. Broday, I think is his name. Broday. Broday. Neither Broday nor Bodie are on our top five. Oh. Sorry. Broday, not even a character that exists. <laughs> <laughs> Broday? Not, not Bodie either. Not Bodie, Broday, or any pronunciation thereof. That's your third strike. All right, Nick Chester, you're next on our community panel. Yep. Out of 50 people surveyed, who is the most popular Dance Central character? We've got Glitch, we've got Miss Aubrey, we've got Amelia. There are two left on the board to steal. I'm gonna go with Tay. Tay is correct! <laughs> Number five. Barely on the board. But let's hey, let him have it her. anyway. Let's let him have it anyway. They had a good solid run. You can meet up with Christine. We'll be sending you copies of Dance Central 3 at launch and sleeveless Dance Central hoodies. Raffi, I'm looking in your direction. You can rock that look. All right, that is our feud. We're moving on to a popular segment now known as the $250 Pyramid. Right. I do admire that none of you are able to applaud unless John Drake directs you to. I often don't know what to do. <laughs> All right, we'll lead off. We'll lead off with Dan Central. That that works. Annette yeah. says okay. Great. Okay. So let's pull someone from the audience. Do we have a volunteer for Dan Central? I saw your hand reluctantly go up first. I think that means we're looking at you. All right, so the general conceit of the $250 pyramid, similar to a popular game show from the 70s uh, known as the $25,000 pyramid, uh, but our prize package is sadly only valued at $250. Uh, the general concept of the game is that the lovely Annette uh, has a list of 20 key phrases popular and relevant to the Dance Central franchise. And she will try to get you to guess as many of those phrases in one minute without actually using those words. It's going to be fun. It's going to be, it's it's going gonna to be, be something. Uh, could someone in the back uh, possibly give us a buzzer after one minute? We have a connection. What? You got a guy. All right, okay. we're working on it. Okay. We have one minute. Okay. We're going to compare your score with the score of the rock band, $25, well, $250 pyramid. Let's be, let's be generous. Uh, and uh, whichever of you has the higher score will win a fabulous $250 prize package. All right. All right, let's do this. <laughs> Annette, when we have a minute, uh, a shrug. A shrug is good enough. Okay. We have. Can we have two minutes? <laughs> Let's have a minute. A minute. Okay. All right. Annette. All right. We'll do this. Go for it. Okay. Um, it's the camera that Dance Central uses to see you as you dance. Uh, it's like the black thing that sits in front oh, of the Xbox. Uh, the Connect. Okay. Good. Um, they sing party rock anthem, sexy, and I know it. I wear crazy pants. Good job. All right, a uh, character that wasn't in Dance Central 2 kind of emo, we called about him earlier. His name's Oblio. Next. <laughs> uh, he announced 
Um, Dance Central 3 at E3 for us did a performance of Scream on stage. Oh, Usher. Okay. Uh, it's the last move that you do at the end of a performance. What is it called? Finale? When you, when you, when you finish. Finishing move? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's see. Wow. It's the uh, boombox. What's its name? No. Sounds like boombox. Boom, boombox. E. <laughs> e box. Uh-huh, boomy. Uh-huh. Uh, let's see. Um, ah, what is up with this? Let's see. Um, oh, it's the rehearsal That mode. is the one minute. Ah, ah. That is too short. She did. I do like that right. sound effect. Lasers. <laughs> so we'll Excuse say me. that that is five correct answers. Out of five. Out of, out of five <laughs> answers. So that's batting a thousand. That'll get you into the Hall of Fame. Sports reference. All right. And now, thank you. You may take your seat. A round of applause, everyone, please. Fair is fair, we'll pull a random rock band volunteer. Pick that All really bored girl. Back. All right. Eric Pope, you're going to be our point man on this. Nick Chester is going to be our point man on this. <laughs> to hell with Eric Pope, everybody. You, you, can, you, you can both use the words. <laughs> Let's go whiskey. All right, <laughs> Nick Chester, are you ready to give us the run of the board? Absolutely. Okay. Do we have Do we have the minute timer again? Front row, front row, possibly. When, when do I start? We are so prepared, technically. All right, Nick Chester, go for it. When you tilt to the ploy, you do this. Overdrive. Um, you break it a lot with your legs, like your foot. It's the, hard. The pe pedal, the bass pedal. Kick pedal. Yes. <laughs> yes. Right. Okay. Um, when you want a song in rock band, you would select it. No. When you want to, us to put a song, DLC song, rock band, we don't have. You use the dashboard. The you, uh, no. Request. You would make a request. Yes. Okay. To get a song in rock band, you would go to the music store and then you would Buy do what it. with it? You purchase it. After that, you would download it. Yes, you would. Um, you really want this band to rock band, but we only have one of their songs. It's called Hysteria. Amuse. Okay. <laughs> um, we have stickies on this. Online, rockband.com slash. Yes, okay. Um, it's a, ro it's a, a website uh, for rockband. the game. Com? It's a website. Uh, it's like a, a fan website. You put it on oh, a rock cut. Band, rock Band Aid. Yeah. Um, you would use it to uh, get more points on sustained notes. Uh, uh, whammy bar. Uh, yeah. Uh, we do it every other week, and we just babble about garbage all the time. The podcast. Um, <laughs> it is... It is, it is the name of our, our new game we just released. Dance Central 3. No. Rock Band Blitz. <laughs> Nick, you're on message, and I appreciate that. Rock Band Blitz was the answer Nick was looking for at the end there. He got it right at the buzzer, I think. Did he? He did. I heard it. I heard it. I heard it. You know what? I'm not going to give it to him. All right. oh! I still won. We still won. I'm going to give it to him. We still won. He already got nine correct answers. <laughs> Run of the board. Let's give him a round of applause. He wins a fabulous selection of rock band prizes uh, shipped direct from our offices uh, at Harmonix Music Systems. A $250 cash value. Thank you. You're very welcome. Uh, hardware and codes and all manner of finery. All right. How are we doing, ladies and gentlemen? Are we doing okay? There's one girl right there who's really bored. I feel bad for her. Who is she? Which one? I'm not going to point her out. Come on. That's fine. No, I'm, I'm, I don't want to. I don't want to. Shots okay. fired. I just feel bad that we're not entertaining everybody. All right. It's, no. it's Saturday night. It's late. We understand. We appreciate all of you being here with us. Thank you very much. <laughs> all right. Moving on. Next section is going to be the harmonics match game. Aaron, how, how are your sweat levels? How my stunt doubles? Sweat levels. How my stunt bubbles? How, how is the sweat level in your suit? Sweat levels? This suit does not breathe at all. You look like Carl Sagan if you were a car salesman. <laughs> God. Then mission accomplished. Ow. We found this at Value Village. It's a tremendous thrift store. Value Village. Yeah. Could have been Pat Sajak. All right. The match game. Well. This is where our panelists really get a chance to shine with their goofs and their spoofs. 
We're going to start off with a dance central question here. We're going to pull someone at random from the crowd, participate, and we are going to ask a question uh, with a, a blank attached at some point, uh, and we are going to have our judges uh, write down uh, their their best guess. Uh, We're going to use no sign pens. language. Uh, they sense. keep keep a good answer in your head. Oh. Maybe is the thing. Uh, here, here. I'll, I'll just. <laughs> Here, I'll just take care of it. So we're going to ask a Dance Central themed question. Our panelists are going to write down uh, their answer. Uh, and we are going to have someone from the audience uh, do the same. Uh, and you will be awarded one point for each of the judges uh, who have managed to match your answer. Uh, you may be familiar uh, with a television show named The Match Game. Uh, we are just stealing all of these bits from popular game shows. Do we have a Dance Central volunteer from the crowd? Gentleman with the glasses. I have poor peripheral vision. I apologize to the cheap seats. All right. Shots fired. Shots fired. So before you answer, okay. give the judges a minute to record their answers. Dance Central theme question. Playing Dance Central can be a lot of fun, but one time I danced so hard, I almost blank. Can you repeat that, please? Playing Dance Central can be a lot of fun, but one time I danced so hard, I almost blank. Judges are recording their answers now. Thank you very much to the gentleman with the pencils. Oh, thank you. More prepared Yay. than a legitimate game studio. Thank you very much. All right. Do you have a good answer in your head, sir? Uh, good? I'm not sure about good. Good? I have an answer. not sure how good. <laughs> that's, that's about the best we can hope for at this point in the game. All right, panelists, how are we doing? Great. A grim look from, from Annette over here. All right. Hope? Gonna need another minute. Another minute? I'm just gonna check Twitter. Another minute. <laughs> no, no, I'm good. Yep, Eric Pope is good. All right. Sir, what is your answer? Playing Dance Central can be a lot of fun, but one time I danced so hard, I almost blanked. Passed out. Passed out. Good answer. It's good. It's good answer. A smattering of applause. Smattering. Right. Eric Pope. What did you have for playing Dance Central can be a lot of fun, but one time I danced so hard I almost blanked. This could happen after this, but I said, bent my weenus. Whoa! <laughs> Good answer. It could happen. It could happen. But not. I his would answer. pass out if I bent my weenus. <laughs> true. You're a stronger man than I am. Is that a new move in Dance Central 3? Yeah. <laughs> Nick Chester, yep. your answer, playing DC can be a lot of fun, but one time I danced so hard, I almost. Shat my pants. Shat <laughs> my pants. That actually happened. That <laughs> is why we don't let Nick play test. I just, yeah. All right. Annette, what do we got? Almost threw up. Threw up. It's a true story. So Don't close. eat donuts before you dance. Ah, uh, do not listen to this lady eat donuts all of the time. <laughs> all right. And Jessa, finally. Sunlight is all around us. It's a bit abstract. <laughs> I, I'm honestly not quite sure. <laughs> what? What to make of this shit show? <laughs> I was not aware we could bring character work <laughs> to this. We'll be passing around whatever she had after the panel, so just stick around. Just tight. I'm sorry, Annette, it was donuts. <laughs> I hear all the acid will be provided by IGN. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Wow. Shots, Shots fired. fired. Shots fired. Case Shots Lynch. Fired. We're talking to you. <laughs> All right. Sorry, sir. That's zero for four. 
Uh, rock band round is going to have an easy sweep. Let's all put our hands down. <laughs> Sir, <laughs> rock band. Yeah. I feel bad for the earlier slight, and I feel the need to make amends. <laughs> all right. Second round, same as the first. Cock ass. Cock ass. Cock ass. <laughs> Our rock band question. If playing rock band with my special lady, she likes when I sing blank for her. When playing rock band with my special lady, she likes when I sing blank for her. For her. Section, keep the answer in your head. Keep the answer in your head. Okay. Okay. Give the panelists a chance to write their answers down. I don't care about them. Real brain buster there, Nick. <laughs> if we're lucky, God willing, someday we'll have all of One Fierce Beer Coaster available as downloadable content. <laughs> I know if Alex Navarro has anything to say in our DLC selection, which he does not, Jeff Gersman. I thank you for your chuckles. <laughs> All right, panelists, how are we doing? Furious scribbling. All right, I'm gonna cut you off in just a second. Okay, okay. it's a beautiful Keep way. it going, it's not gonna make them any slower. All right, I'm going to say you're ready. To hell with you. All right, so at the microphone, what is your answer? If playing rock band with my special lady, she likes when I sing blank for her. Uh, Gangnam Style by Psy. Gangnam Style by Psy. Good answer, good answer. Uh, let's see if any of our four panelists had that as their answer. Eric Pope, kick uh, out the jams. This was most assuredly the Gangnam style of its day. So I think you should count it. It's called Frozen Sunshine by Headboard. Headboard. <laughs> Jeff Gersman's Headboard. <laughs> Look it up, guys. Headboard. Head to Google. Head to Google at your soonest possible convenience. Deep cut. Deep cut. Rough chuckles. Shots fired. <laughs> Shots fired. Shots fired. Sorry. All Sorry. right. Nick Chester. Yep. Uh, when playing rock band with your special lady, she likes it when I sing blank for her. She likes it while uh, she likes uh, it when I sing while shitting my pants for her. <laughs> because she, I mean, she doesn't just want to hear me sing. Yeah. She she likes it when I shit my pants. I've met his wife. It's true. <laughs> I ate, I ate a lot of donuts yesterday. You keep her. I do always feel bad that we end up running the bluest penny arcade panel. <laughs> More of a brown. <laughs> and there's a Cards Against Humanity panel right now. Yeah. All right. Zero for two so far. Annette? Um, I said all the jams. Oh, is, the, is there a Z there in the is. jams? There's a Z on the jams. So that means I get a point? Um, yeah, and our contestant is checking his phone, clearly engrossed in the proceedings. Annette, why don't you just wrap up this, <laughs> this disaster as quickly as possible. Uh, when scene. playing rock band with your special lady, uh, she likes when you sing... Waiting for the train. Feeling near as faded as... What is happening? I start a bonfire right now. That, that sounds like Gangnam Style to me. It counts. It counts. Put a beat over that shit. So, contrary to Nick's piss poor hearing, it was not Gangnam Style. I know it when I hear it. Uh, so that is also zero for four. Uh, I, I, think all, I think all of the jams covers Gangnam Style. Yeah. So do I. What do you think, guys? People have spoken. Jeff Gersman, Jeff I Gersman, final ruling. Pay that man! Pay that man! Good enough! Pay the man. 
you win our god-awful harmonics match game, when we return to the office, we will award you a harmonics history pack yeah. with an assortment of our games. We have a copy of the Axe, patches from Antigrav, trash from our free table in our community area. It's good trash. It's the best trash. you could trash. ask for. Nick has some breakdancing videos. It is just an excuse for house cleaning. I have an exhibit album. But we don't need to come right out and say that. There's an Eben Ozen record on there. Anyone? All right. Headboard? Anyone? Ladies of the community they probably team. Played headboard. Is it about time for you to punch out? Yup. Yup. Yep. Way ahead of you. Okay. Way over there. We punched out about 30 minutes ago. So Annette and Jessa will be leaving us. Oh. They have to take care of some of the Megathon stuff. Give them a round of applause, please. They are ducking under the table for reasons unbeknownst to me. Don't fall off, don't fall off the back of the stage. There's no, right. there's no wall here. All right. Eric Pope, oh, Nick Chester. Oh. It just ends, you guys. The stage just ends. There's no wall. It's a metaphor for life, Eric. Yeah, that is fucking deep. Yeah. <laughs> Eric Pope, Nick Chester. Yeah, hey, hey. Lightning doing? round! This is the most important part of the evening for you. Okay. Because we just need you to heckle the shit out of people. Good. Yeah. Uh, yes. Us? Yeah, you. Ooh. Are you ready for that? But they're so nice. I like them so much. I don't want to do that. All right. Okay. So we Fuck have you guys. I'm more than happy to do that. We have a lightning round <laughs> set up here. We have a few volunteers from our Top Pot Donut Social earlier, so I'll, I'll let them line up first. Uh, Jamie from Crystal Math. I see you in the front row there. John Peterson, are you in the house? John. There you go. Yes. And Brian Bender. Peterson. Yep. Brian Bender. All right. So we've got three to start. We've got about 10 minutes? Quest? Yeah. A, a shrug is good enough for me. So we're going to try to blow through as many of these lightning round questions as we can. Uh, I thought we were going to get 10 contestants. We're going to see as many as we can do <laughs> okay. in 10 minutes. All How about right. that? So if anyone is interested and would like to queue up at the microphone here, we've got minimum 10, maximum 20 questions. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> Everybody do whatever you want! <laughs> Woo! No, I'm kidding. To this no, side no. of the <laughs> hall, we did not have any say in the placement of the microphone. <laughs> but you're our favorite side of the hall. <laughs> We... Oh, God, I'm sorry you guys heard that. <laughs> Unintended. All right. Nick, Pope, do you guys want to read off lightning round questions? Sure. sure. Yeah. How about that? How about, How about that? that? I'm, I'm going to take a saunter <laughs> over to this side. Right. Sauntering music, please. Yeah. How about... How about... Uh, yeah. Yeah. Can I oh. refer to the, uh, the yeah. questions here? And yeah, we know how to read. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Okay. He knows how to read. I'm going to know right. the Nick's going to go. Eric Pope, kick it off. What day do we do our live stream? That was number two. That was question number two. <laughs> what day do we do our live stream? Monday. Mondays. Correct! Mondays, correct! All right. Now you do number one. Now I don't want to do that. That's not how this goes. Uh, name three bands released in the first week of DLC for Rock Band. Lightning, lightning. Lightning. The answers are, uh, you, you, no, nothing? You got nothing? You got nothing? Many answer. bands. Mm. Many bands. Wait, yeah, just the name. Let's just start go to the next bands. guy. Start next guy. Bands. Okay. okay, next guy, next guy. Um, Metallica. Um, Lightning. Uh, the Police. Light. And, um, oh, shit. Foreigner? What was that? Foreigner? Foreigner? Yes. 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 Foreigner. Correct. The other bands were Nicely Metallica, done. Uh, CCR, The Knack, The Runaways. Doesn't matter. Two Name two DCI agents in DC3. Oh, jeez. Yep. Nope. Neither of those. Next Neither. man. <laughs> wow. Shot Name the five. two DCI agents in Dance Central 3. I'm drawing a blank. I'm sorry. Drawing a blank. Done. Next. Wow. Lightning round. Name the two DCI agents in Dance Central 3. Mr. Bill and Mr. Ted. Fine, I'll take it. <laughs> yep, that's yeah. good. Easy. All right. Who, we are easy. Like, who are the two founders of Harmonix? Um, that one guy yep. and that other guy. Oof! <laughs> Oof! Nope, Ouch. sorry. Oh, come on. You're going to tell me you don't know that one guy? I know that dude. Ah, uh, come on. Same question? Yeah! Yep! Who are the two founders of That Phonics? other guy, Bill Gates. Yikes! Uh, Nothing? 
No. All right, get you. Green shirt. You didn't do conventional lover for like the song and rock band? Yeah! See? Convention. Don't get lover. Uh, that's pretty you good. get nothing, <laughs> sir. All right, all right, all right, Kyle. It was Alex Rogopoulos and. Uh, Sure, yeah, got it. Got it. Yep. Good job. Great work. All right, Alex Rogopoulos, Aranagosi. Which studio does former Harmonix employee Dan Teasdale work at? Oh. Teasdale. 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 I saw him doing a talk, but I don't know the name. They of had it. a panel in here just before us. Uh, no, it was yeah. immediately before us. Okay, yeah, next. Well, not the studio. Not the studio. But yeah, Teasdale. Yeah, yeah. Um, Popcap. Pop nope. Yeah. Dang. Um, Red yeah. Octane. What? Red Octane. He's right. Are you fucking serious? <laughs> Red Octane? <laughs> I'm just a bit of harmonics to Red Octane. <laughs> uh, act Activision. Activision. Oh, yeah. That was great. Shots fired. That's Dan Teasdale, you guys. Uh, <laughs> what is the oldest song in Rock Band Blitz? Uh. Where's that? Oh, uh. <laughs> Yellow submarine? <laughs> no, that is not Boy. correct. Nope, that is also incorrect. Nope. Rock Band Blitz. Rock Band Blitz core soundtrack. 25 songs. 25 songs. It's out on Xbox Live Arcade and PlayStation. All right, Network. fuck it, he's dead. How much did it cost to export Dance Central 1 to Dance Central 2? 50? Thousand? Listen to your audience. Five? Five dollars. Everybody wins. Everybody wins. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, God, where are we? <laughs> what is going on? Shh. Who did the opening cinematic for the Beatles rock band? Beatles. Yes. The Beatles, Beatles did. John Lennon, correct. The Beatles. <laughs> yeah, correct answer is Passion Pictures. Name the three songs in the trial version of Rock Band Blitz. Uh, I don't actually know that one. Oh. Dicks, Dicks, and Dicks. Yeah. Dicks, Dicks, and Dicks is wrong. Yeah. No, what? It's wrong? Shock of shocks. All right. Uh, Dance Cent Oh, I'm going to take your spot. Dance Central is not the first motion controlled game that Harmonix made. What was the first? Uh, <laughs> it's not Fruit Ninja. Frequency? Nope. I, it's an yep, anti grab. That is correct. Cool. Close enough. Anti grab. Close enough for hey, government Nick. work. Oh, where are we? What are we doing? What's going uh, on here? Ask Which it. HMX employee was voted best Twitter account in Boston in 2011? Uh, uh, Sam Slappy in his one fisted kung fu fight? Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> Jesus Christ was a close second. I was thinking about that too, but that one just rolled All off my right. tongue. Yep. That's it. That person's correct. Give her you the are prize. correct. It is our very own Eric Pope seated at the table. Yep. Beat out Shaquille O'Neal and Amanda Palmer. And Amanda Palmer, you guys. <laughs> Although this year Amanda Palmer came back and beat me. So, all right, which harmonics it. employee runs the rock band Twitter account? You, Nick Chester. No, what's happening? Just say a name. Just throw a name out. Eric. Aaron is correct. Aaron, Aaron Trey. Sure. Yeah. Let's do it. <laughs> in, in which city are the HMX offices located? One dollar. What? I can't hear you over all these balls. One whole dollar. <laughs> which is that's not the first time I've said that this week, by the way. Yeah, Boston. That is correct. How do you earn the bladder of steel achievement in Rock Band Two? Ah, uh, you get all of the stars. <laughs> Sure, you get all through the song. You guys know you're at a harmonics panel, right? You've heard of us before. You guys don't know anything about us. What harmonics developer was originally listed as a panelist on this game show, but was unable to attend? To complete the endless set list without pausing. What is happening? That was the answer to the one before. John Drake, is that your final answer? John Drake is correct. Uh... I think that is yeah. about yeah. all the nonsense that we can handle right. for tonight. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for playing. We're going to meet you at the back door. There's going to be harmonic beef balls for everyone.
Thanks for not walking out.